the uh, really first introduction of a powered prosthesis into individuals with uh, uh, limb loss below the knee particularly. Um, what this prosthesis does is substitute for the muscles that are lost in an amputation below the, the knee in terms of ankle and foot function. Um, before it was the, f the rigid, or your prosthetic is pretty rigid, it doesn't have any toe off, it doesn't have any power to it, Everything, all your power is coming from your, your knees, your thigh, your, your hip, your lower back area, but with this you have, as you're going through your gait, it has a little bit push off from your heel, so you can it throws your leg forward, which in, in, in turn throws your body forward, so or it gives you your body a, a forward momentum, so that you can walk a little bit easier with less muscle energy, um, thus helping your muscles heal and, and whatnot. So. Um, there's no question that with the current prostheses that are available on the market, uh, individuals can walk, can go upstairs. Uh, can do pretty much everything, even run you know, marathons. But the difference is, is all of those devices are passive devices, meaning that the individual has to propel them themselves. They have to use more proximal muscles, muscles above the knee, for example, to make that prosthesis work. This works on, pretty much on its own, you know, that the user controls it, but the actuators within the prosthesis actually help to propel the individual. Uh, and so the motors actually will carry a human body up to 260 pounds.